My name is Paul, and I'm a developer advocate. And I'm not actually a developer. I'm a sysadmin who learned just enough Ruby to write some chef scripts. And I'm not much of an advocate, which if you know me, you already know. If you follow me on Twitter, you definitely know that. If you don't follow me on Twitter, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, I am here today not to praise DevOps, but to bury it. That's from Shakespeare because I'm cultured as fuck. <laughs> so we used to call ourselves sysadmins, and we spent a lot of time editing send mail CF files. Uh, we would uh, write Perl scripts and for loop through SSH, and we played a lot of Halo, and we did not have a no asshole rule. In fact, it was encouraged. <laughs> and then this guy shows up in like 07 and starts talking about agile infrastructure. And we were like, you're fucking crazy, man. That's bullshit. Turned out he was right, and that's kind of the repeating pattern of Andrew's life. Uh, a year later, uh, these guys, um, John Allspore and some guy, no one's name you can ever remember, uh, did this 10 deploys a day talk at Flickr. And they almost got the words dev and ops like together. They just had the word and in there. But they started to really figure out what DevOps was. A year later, this guy, Patrick Dubois, um, used that creativity that Belgians are famous for. And they took the word developers, operations, and days and jammed them together and created the first DevOps Days conference. Now, this conference was in Belgium. So they just drank a bunch of beer and they got cantankerous and they argued for two days about how to capitalize the word DevOps. <laughs> and they never actually got around to defining it. Now they would later tell you that that was a feature and not a bug and that DevOps doesn't need a definition and I'm cool with that because we all know only terrorists write manifestos. Uh, and that left us free to cargo cult DevOps however we wanted. So we fired all of our sysadmins and we hired some DevOps teams. The smartest sysadmins like myself called ourselves DevOps. And we got like 100 grand a year pay rises. It was fucking sweet. <laughs> and our vendors were left to just rebrand whatever it, it was they were already selling as DevOps. I'm not sure what IBM's telling us when they write dummies books for their customers. But that's another uh, Ignite talk, I think. Uh, and then Amazon comes along and said, there's DevOps, they're fucking expensive. Use our cloud and you can do no ops, absolutely zero ops. So we were like cool and we fired all of our DevOpses. And it didn't necessarily go so well. Uh, and we were in a bind because all of our DevOpses had gone out and gotten more productive, uh, rewarding jobs. And so we were kind of screwed. But Google comes along and they're like, it's cool. We just invented this new thing that's like DevOps, but isn't DevOps, <laughs> called Site Reliability Engineering. And they didn't, e they didn't just give a definition, they wrote a whole fucking book about it. <laughs> now, I haven't read the book myself, but I'm told that SRE is when you have a bunch of developers write some software, and they give it over to the SRE team to run that software in Kubernetes. <laughs> and that didn't necessarily work out quite as we expected. So it turns out running software is hard, running infrastructure is hard. You can't just cargo cult a bunch of cloud native bullshit and think it's gonna work out okay. Uh, luckily, Amazon comes back and they're like, don't worry, you don't even need servers anymore, therefore you don't need ops, you don't need SREs, you don't need any of that garbage. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with serverless, um, so let me uh, tell you a little bit about it. Serverless is when you take your WordPress blog and you get the server and you just throw that server away. Boom, serverless. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, where exactly is my WordPress blog running if there's no actual server? And that's when I have to admit, you may need to re-architect your WordPress blog just a little bit uh, to work inside the serverless framework. But look how much fucking simpler it is. <laughs> So Google comes along and they say, oh, we got this. We've just invented this new thing called Knative, which you can run on Kubernetes inside your own serverless data center and you have absolutely no servers anywhere left. And so I'm here to tell you, you're all fired. <laughs> uh, but I've compiled this list of jobs that you are as a DevOps qualified to be. I am looking forward to my new role as an electric bath attendant. <laughs> 